everybody, it's Holly and welcome back to Smile by Holly. Thank you for joining me today. It's great to have you here. And today I am continuing on with the series that I'm doing called These Are a Few of My Favorite Things. And by looking at this picture, you're probably going, what? <laughs> you know, uh, double zipper bags are your favorite thing? Well, can I just tell you in the world of craft storage, these uh, zippered bags are invaluable to me. So pair them with my 12 by 12 scrapbook cases. And basically that is in a nutshell, my craft storage. So let me just kind of explain. To start out, this is probably my most used craft solution out of everything that I have. And it's these 12 by 12 scrapbook cases. I use these for everything. Now, if you're interested in seeing one of my videos as to how I uh, store my paper and my embellishments, check out the videos that I just released and you will see a lot, I mean, let me tell you, a lot of these 12 by 12 cases because when I first discovered these, they basically solved all the problems that I had with craft storage. And you know, they fit a 12 by 12 paper and yet so much more can go into these. So let me just kind of tell you how I use these for my craft storage. It all starts out with the 12 by 12 box, okay? And then I pair them with just simple zippered bags. And I know that sounds kind of funny, but these have been a lifesaver for me. Now, let me just show you one. Let me bring in my doodle bug file. You can see as I cut up my kits, they go into a gallon sized bag and then into my doodle bug case. And you know, this is a very inexpensive way of keeping my things organized, but I think that's just a plus. I mean, I'm all for inexpensive and yet being able to find things when you need them. Isn't that just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful? So I've showed you how I use my quart size bags and my gallon size bags. But something that I discovered this year that I am just so thrilled with, my new find, and this is the Hefty Jumbo Storage Bags. And let me just show you how wonderful these are. You know, when you buy paper kits, they generally come in, you know, this plastic kind of cellophane uh, little folder which is great, but these tend to rip. So I was looking for a solution to not only keep my embellishments in, but my paper and my embellishments together. And so this is what I found. These jumbo gallon size bags are amazing. Not only do they fit a full size sheet of 12 by 12 paper, but I can keep the entire collection together. So this has been game changer now that I found something that will fit my paper and my embellishments in. And then once I finish a project, I even keep the scraps that go along with this collection in my jumbo bag. And here is just a Christmas collection that I just finished working with. It has the papers, it has the scraps, it has the stickers, it has the embellishments. And then this in turn, once I had all of this collection, would go into a Christmas box. And this fits down just nicely. And so it's in my case, it's all together and it's filed in my Christmas tote. I also use these cases for all of my scraps. Now, I tend to have a hard time throwing away scraps. If it's too little, yes, I do throw it away, but I can I just tell you, I have so many scraps, but I have these 
um, filed by color. So this is my pink file. So rather than take a brand new piece of pink paper, uh, I like to come in here first and see if I can find the shape or the size or the exact pink that I need. And generally, I can find it. <laughs> I mean, that is a lot of scraps. But this has really, really helped me to uh, get to using some of the things I already have. Now, sure, can I just tell you, it is easier to just grab a brand new piece of pink paper rather than hunt through this. But one of my goals for this year is using all of my supplies. And so by having this organized and able to get to easily, this is right um, underneath my desk. They're easy to pull out and look through before I go to a brand new piece of paper. Now, I also use these for all of my craft supplies. Now, I file all of these in bookcases and they're just usually by alphabetical or by theme. Once again, if you wanna check out how I file my embellishments, check out that video. But like here in my craft supplies, this just has an assortment of you know, anything that I might be looking for. Uh, clothes pins, paper clips, uh, Velcro, colored paper clips, um, wire, magnets. I mean, you kind of get the point. Let me just show you another one. Here is another box of craft supplies. I've got some lobster clips, magnets. I've got elastic wire, little jars. Just so many different things, but I have so many different craft supplies that this has been a wonderful way for me to organize them. I have a couple of these that are just for jewels, some that are for sequins. I've got one for glitter. I mean, can you see? But look how nice that is to be able to pull my case out and sort through it from there. I mean, super organized. I really, really believe that by having your stuff organized, you will use it more. You know, if you don't know where your stuff is, it's hard to find, it's hard to get to, it just doesn't work. So once I started using these bins, they have become just such a value to me. Now, the way that I do my embellishments, and once again, there is a video on this, but I have them all by theme, and I'll just quickly show you once again in this video. If I am looking for something to make like a birthday card or a birthday album, I pull out my birthday case, and pretty much I have you know, a whole bunch of fun things that I can choose from to make something with a birthday theme. Let me just show you another one. This is my love box, okay? So for Valentine's or an I love you or anything like that, you know, I've got anything from stickers to just, this is an old card that I thought was so cute that I feel like I could use that on something. Um, to punch outs, to, you know, little sayings. So many different things and yet so easily accessible. So what do you guys think? I hope that maybe I have given you some ideas of just simple, and inexpensive ways on how to keep your craft supplies organized and easily accessible. So thank you so much for joining me again today. It was great to have you along. If you got some value out of this video, give me a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing to my channel. I would love to have you along. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Goodbye everybody.